Hi everyone, welcome back again to ASFC Chemistry and what I've given you here is a molecule of cetirizine. Now cetirizine hydrochloride is used in hay fever medication, so those of you who get hay fever uh, may have seen this on a pack before but never known what the structure looks like. To be honest, looking at this structure, there is a lot going on. There's a lot of things here that you may or may not recognize. If you've done the second year of the course, you'll recognize here that we've got a tertiary amine. You may be looking at this bit and thinking, oh, I can see an ester link. But notice, there's a carbon here. There's actually a CH2 group in there, so that's not an ester. What we absolutely do have, though, is we have some acidic feature to our molecule because we have a carboxylic acid group over on this end. Now, what we do recognize and what I want to put the most emphasis on is this chlorine here, which is attached to the phenyl part of this structure. There are two, but here we've got this chlorine. Now, you know how to halogenate a benzene ring, and that's what I just want to go over with this as a way of applying what you've done in the second year of the course to an unfamiliar molecule, treating it just like anything else. Now, the first thing you need is a halogen uh, carrier, so you're going to either use FeCl3 or you can use AlCl3 for this. It doesn't really matter. And you're reacting this with Cl2, and what you form, you don't really need the square brackets, but I do like to put them in for this bit, is FeCl4, and you also need some Cl+, plus like so. Now, the Cl+, plus that's kicked off on this side, is the electrophile. And it's going to undergo electrophilic substitution with the benzene ring component. Now, what I'm going to do for this to make it nice and easy, and they often let you do this in the exam for a big structure, I'm going to refer to all of this as R. So the whole rest of the structure is going to be R. You might think that makes things easier, but you have to show a really specific intermediate in the electrophilic substitution mechanism as a result of now knowing that the R group has got to be across from the chlorine. Now, if you're told to do this mechanism, ignoring all directing effects, then what you start off with, and directing effects are new to the specification, but if the examiner tells you to do this, you do as you're told. You put a Cl plus just here like so, and you reach out from the ring, not from the hexagon of carbon atoms. Then we show an intermediate. Now, your intermediate do not break any of the carbon bonds, but you absolutely have to show, doesn't matter which way around you spin it, but you have to show the R group in an opposing position to the newly connected chlorine and the original hydrogen that was there, which we didn't see. You then have to break this bond and restore the aromaticity, couldn't even say it then, back into the structure to reform the ring. So you've got a chlorine directly across from the R group and our aromaticity in the middle like so. So our delocalized ring of electrons there, our delocalized pi bond is back inside the benzene. The only thing about this, I suppose, was the specific intermediates. You couldn't have the R group just anywhere. And to be honest with you, some people often forget the R groups. You put it here and there, but then for some reason it seems to be missing from this section. So uh, keen eyes for this one and make sure you don't make that kind of mistake. Other things as well, if we ever wanted to, the examiner wanted us to, we could um, make this carboxylic acid an ester by reacting with an alcohol and some sulfuric acid. We've got a tertiary amine here. They might ask us to synthesize that, and I think they would abbreviate it again with the R groups just here. But otherwise, at the moment, I just wanted to put the emphasis on the reaction of the benzene components of it. If you have any other questions, send us a tweet at ASFC underscore chemistry. And until then, happy revising.